In this video, we're going to take a look at a 49 inch LG 4K TV. Alright, guys, so this is a follow up video to my previous video. Um, if you guys seen that, then you know that I've been uh, currently, or I was currently looking for a 4K TV. Um, I previously bought an Insignia Fire TV, didn't like that. And then I picked up this LG 49 inch 4K um, and I wanted to do a video on it and I'm just doing this because I figure a lot of people are out there buying TVs maybe stepping up to their first 4K TV and uh, not sure if they're gonna like it or not and hopefully um, this video helps you guys out now actually when I took back my insignia I actually purchased it at Best Buy and I took it back and I was looking at other TVs to buy I came across this LG and it was on display and I liked the picture on it. So I went over to the open box area and I was able to actually pick this up for $306.99. On sale, it's actually $329. I think regular price is $399. You can see there, there's the model number. Some of the features it's got is 4K active HDR true color accuracy, ultrasound, and the uh, WebOS Smart TV. There's the TV on my wall there. Like I said, this is a 49 inch. So it's a decent size. It's got a nice thin bezel here. Here's my finger. It's about as wide as that. There's the actual remote sensor there. And the LG logo. Here's a side view here, and the wall mount I have here is actually a low profile wall mount. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see that. What I'll do is I'll post some pictures of the inputs. Here's a look at everything that comes with the TV. You get your uh, legs some screws, your owner's manual, and then that's what the remote looks like. All right guys, so here's a look at the home screen on the LG. Um, LG actually has their own interface, and uh, it's actually pretty nice. At the bottom here, you have all your apps that you can download. Um, you can plug in an antenna, I have live TV, you have YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Sling, Vudu. Now, uh, this Channel Plus that LG adds into with their package of apps is pretty nice. Um, this is probably a, one of the biggest pluses, I think. Um, you click into that, and it's actually an app that has Internet TV, um, and it has a lot of channels. So if you're somebody that cut the cord, doesn't have cable, um, this would be perfect for you. You can scroll through all this. And um, they got a lot of stuff that you can watch here. Uh, Law and Crime. There's news. There's tons of stuff. There's stuff for people that might be into... Um, Sports, there's comedy, there's America's Funniest Video there, some outdoor stuff, um, but it's a nice little add-on that they have here so that you can uh, actually watch TV and have some channels to flip through. Um, they are currently always adding channels. Um, since I've had this TV the last week, they've already added six channels to it. Um, there's Family Feud, Gaming Stations, People TV, TMZ. I mean, the list goes on and on. I'm not going to bore you with the list. Um, but this does come free when you buy an LG TV. There's another look. This is actually just a different menu. This is actually the guide view and as you can see there 
there's a channel at the top, MMA Junkie, and then if you go across, it shows at what time, what's coming on, um, just so you get a heads up. Fox Sports there. But, uh, yeah, it's it's nice. It's got its own um, guide. Back to the home screen here. You got Google Play movies and TVs. You got your uh, different inputs. I actually downloaded the GoPro app here, which is pretty nice. And then you got a web browser. You uh, can connect your device, which is your phone. You download an app on your phone, and you actually can... Uh, screen share stuff from your phone to your TV which uh, that's pretty nice TV setup and then you can go in there and you can edit all these apps and switch them all around if you don't like the order they're in press up there there's actually I've already programmed the TV to uh, connect with my phone there when I open up the app there's the settings at the top your inputs they actually have an LG music player built in. This one is Life is Good. And I guess it's just if you want some uh, some type of background noise. Exit out of that. Go back to the home. As you can see also has the time up there. It is currently connected to my wireless Wi-Fi and then there's also other apps that you can download if you'd like LG has their own content store um, has TV shows up here Movies then your apps So you can go through add more apps if you'd like now what I'll do is I'll uh, go into YouTube here and um, I'll play a little bit of some 4K video. Alright guys, so I clicked into uh, YouTube and I'm going uh, to play some 4K, a little bit of 4K videos. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. Um, I'm going to upload this in 1080p and uh, obviously you're not going to be able to see the clarity as well as um, you should be able to. What you want to do is though when you go into here you want to make sure that your 4k quality is highlighted and make sure that that's actually what it's in because uh, if you've got a slow internet it's not going to automatically go to 4k but it will um, drop down to a lower resolution just so there's no buffering. Um, the color, the crispness on this TV is, in my opinion, probably one of the best for the price point. Um, if you pick this up at $329 on sale, I think you'll really be happy with the 4K image. Um, the colors, the blacks, the whites, how everything looks. Um, if you guys really want to see a comparison, I'll... Uh, post in the description box my previous video where I actually compared this side by side with an Insignia Fire TV and uh, you can click on that and you'll really be able to see the difference between the quality of the picture between the two TVs I was really blown away that this TV was only you know 30 I think it was like $30 more than the Insignia and uh, the picture in 4K was just actually night and day that this TV was way better more vibrant more clear um, it was very noticeable you can go into your settings menu here you can click down as different picture modes it's currently on vivid they're standard they actually have a auto power saver mode Cinema, sports, uh, gaming mode, HDR effect, and you can actually go light, medium, or strong with that. Then there's expert bright room, so that's if you have a bright room, you might want to choose that mode. 
And then there's an expert dark room for if you have a dark room. Back to Vivid there, you can just see the difference, how the colors just pop. There's aspect ratio, sound mode. Use your internal TV speakers, or if you want to use the optical out. There's a sleep timer, and then that shows your uh, network connection. Real easy to get to, just one button, and you can change all those on the fly. Like I said, I was really blown away by this TV for the price point, especially when I bought the Insignia, and the Insignia just was not nearly as vibrant and clear of a picture. And like I said, they're pretty close in price. So if you guys are out there shopping, you guys are going to Best Buy or Walmart or something like that, and you guys are looking for your first 4K TV, this one's the 49-inch LG. Um, I definitely recommend you guys taking a look at this. And for the price point, it might be something you'd be interested in. So if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you guys like what I'm doing on my channel here, hit that uh, subscription button. And uh, hit that uh, notification bell too because I post uh, videos. Um, I've been posting them whenever I get a chance. So uh, this way you'll be notified when I post my next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.